Yo, we is we do homes at home. That's just your boy RC here. Get ready to get into Impact Wrestling's five most shocking championship deaths. Now I can't wait to get into this. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be funny. It's gonna be entertaining. Let's hop into it right now. It's gonna be great. Trust me. Impact Plus. Experience Impact Wrestling like never before. Remember that time Booker T was at Impact Wrestling for a cup of coffee? Now I'm just playing. He was there for two years. Didn't really do well. I mean, he did some noteworthy things. Remember when he was Black Snow? Anyway, let's get back to the video. His commentary, no matter what, is great. After the main event, Mafia took him out. I think it's been about a month on since we've seen AJ. And AJ is back. And look at him go. Look at him fire up on Booker T with those right hands. I mean, look at those rights. I mean, he's just packing everything. There's the kick to the side of the head. Main event, Mafia. It's time for AJ Styles to step up and be that legend. Oh, that's when that TNA title is known as Legends title. There could be it's only been through one. so many changes. The phenomenal one, AJ Styles. Last time that belt was used, it was known as the Television Championship. By the returns tonight and against all odds for Samoa Joe. That championship has been through so many identity crises. Like it's, it had so many names. It was the Legends Championship. It was, it was another championship name I can't remember. The one that I remember the most is the Legends Championship and a TV Championship. And that was the one Devon had for a long time that he never defended or rarely defended. But that's another story for another time. Let's get back to the video. Then welcome back AJ Styles to TNA. From the second rope, if he does, that's going to be, whoa! Oh, Her classic man. impact wrestler. Kick him from the second rope and set him up for the muscle buster. Here, Here it is. There we go, muscle, muscle buster and comment. Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful. Here he goes. Pin him, Joe. One, two, three. Joe's got it. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner, Super Joe. He did it. Win streak remains intact for Samoa Joe. Remember when Samoa Joe was treated like a main event wrestler? Now he's doing commentary on Raw when he could be put to good use inside the ring. I mean, he may be injury prone at times, but look at the career he's had from Ring of Honor to Impact Wrestling to, I'm pretty sure he wrestled in New Japan at some point, and then on the independent circuit over the past 20 years. So, I mean, his body has been wear and tear after a while because, hey, wrestling may be scripted, but hey, those bumps are super real. I love wrestling. I love it, and I can't stand what people say it's fake. I mean, movies are fake, but you still watch them. Action movies are really fake, and they have stunt actors. These wrestlers don't have stunt actors. They are the stunt actors. But let's go ahead and get back to the video. That's another story for another time. The fans got their revenge in more ways than one, didn't they? Oh, that infamous fans' revenge match. <laughs> That's what this was. All those fans, those plants. <laughs> but still. And then that set Jared up. He was hung out to dry. And once he got him in that muscle buster, it was all over. And Samoa Joe walking over here to the table. The undefeated Samoan... What? Samoa Joe picking up the NWA World Heavyweight title, taking possession of the belt. Why is he taking the belt? That was a non-title match. Samoa Joe is... You know, I was going to say, at least it's better than Kennel from Hell match, because that match on paper may have seemed good, but that match with Al Snow and Boss Man was... They had to work around the dogs. The dogs didn't even try to attack. I mean, that that whole Kill from Hell story is like a... It's funnier than playing Rat from Hell story. It's just... It's, it's funny. But anyway, let's get back to the video. That's a different wrestling company. And th this is one company I'm talking about another. Let's get back to the video. Trying to end the career of Booker T. And Sting pulls him off. You made your point. You made your point. Oh, that's audible. That's audible. Hey. You don't do that to Sting and think you can get away with it. <laughs> uh uh. You don't do that to Sting and think you can get away with it. A total lack of respect from the champion Samoa Joe to the icon Sting. He may have overstepped his boundaries here, but somebody had to stop 
Samoa Joe. Look at this. You see Booker T leaning over. Wait a minute. That's Charmel. It's doing the three count. Well, that doesn't mean anything. What exactly. It really don't. I mean, come on. Are, are you telling me that Booker T's now the TNA champion? What I'm telling you is... TNA matchmaking back in the new 2000s, everybody. Line, he never beat Samoa Joe. How the hell can Booker T be TNA champion? And Moose, there he stands. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh -oh. It's EC3. EC3's in the ring. EC3 with a hold of Moose. And EC3 takes down the TNA Emergence Night One. It was champion. good. I still haven't went back and watched it, but from what I've heard, it was pretty good. How's that for you've been warned? EC3 with the TNA World Heavyweight Championship belt. He's a, taking it with him. A belt that he's won in his career. And to you, you're right. EC3 is leaving tonight with the TNA World Heavyweight Championship. What does this mean? Every bit of 5150 as advertised. Oh, and a shot. Look King, King from behind. King from behind. What the hell does he have? Now look at all these people. Santana Ortiz and Eddie Kingston are now with All Elite Wrestling. Looking at this in hindsight, the only one that's with Impact Wrestling still is Hernandez. And he's just been coming into the company and leaving off and on. Like, he don't know whether he wants to stay or whether he wants to go. I think he's in his fifth run with the company. Sixth, maybe. I don't know. Anyway, let's get back to the video. I forgot how Conan let himself go. Well, he didn't let himself go. He had multiple injuries and hip surgeries. Ooh. Hip surgeries over the years. What's he? Some sort of a, like a blackjack. He's got like a, it's like a sock with a billiard ball in it. You know, I remember the speed that the OGs had with LAX. And they're defacing the championships. This is downright disgusting. Those titles belong to LAX. This was one of the best feuds in Impact Wrestling in 2018. And then the feud that LAX had with um, Phoenix and Pentagon was great. Like, seriously. What well, feud that Santana Ortiz had with Pentagon and Phoenix. Phoenix and Pentagon. They, it, was, it was great. I love that feud. Anyway, let's get back to the video. The tagging and defacing... The titles. Oh, gee. Well, that was the top five. But, um, that's definitely a trip down memory lane. That's definitely a trip down memory lane. But I enjoyed the video. I hope y'all did too. It was entertaining. It was fun. It was fun going on that trip. Like, I was just, I can remember a lot of things about wrestling. Like, man. And it seems like it just, like, well, hey, it happened for the last 20 years. But it just still seems memorable years later when you just recount and rethink it. You know, you know, you know how it is. Just memories. But um, I enjoyed the video. Hopefully y'all did too. Be sure to smash the like button, leave a comment, subscribe, share, follow, do what you gotta do. And until next time, much love. Stay cool, y'all. Peace.